You have probably tried running a large language model locally and very quickly you realize that the GPU is busy but not efficient. Each response feels slower. You check NVIDIA SMI and you figure out that it's only using a fraction of the GPU memory. Serving a large language model efficiently becomes a lot more complicated for many users than just running a model locally for intermittent inference. That is because a lot of these inference setups, they aren't built for continued responses or longer context windows. They just call a model, return the responses, and then sit idle, wasting memory and compute. This is where VLLM comes in. VLLM is an open source inference engine built for high throughput, low latency, large language model serving. It was built by researchers from UC Berkeley's Sky Computing Lab to solve the inefficiency in traditional inference pipelines. And the best part of VLLM is that you can serve on DigitalOcean's GPU droplets which gives you a simple way of deploying models from Llama and Mistral without having to worry about the infrastructure. This is exactly what we will be covering in this video. Before we jump into the demo, let's understand what makes VLLM different. VLLM makes LLMs perform optimizations efficiently and at scale. Four things that work for it under the hood are paged attention, continuous dynamic patching, hardware optimized execution, and OpenAI compatible API. Let's understand what each of these terms mean. In paged attention, instead of storing massive attention caches in one continuous block of GPU memory, VLLM splits them into pages, like how an operating system manages RAM. This paging system lets it reuse memory efficiently, enabling longer prompts or more concurrent users without running out of VRAM. For continuous dynamic batching, Rather than waiting for a full batch of inputs, VLLM continuously merges incoming requests in real time. This means your CPU never sits idle and latency drops even when many users are sending prompts at once. Third, VLLM uses CUDA graphics, efficient attention kernels like flash attention and quantization to make every GPU cycle count, which makes it perfect for deployment on DigitalOcean GPUs. And finally, it exposes endpoints like v1 slash completions or v1 slash chat completions. So many apps that are built for OpenAI API can instantly connect to your own VLLM server with no code changes. Let's move on to seeing a demo of how you can host your own inference server. And the first step to that is to create a GPU droplet on DigitalOcean. I have already logged into our control panel and from here I'll click on create GPU droplet. Once you do that, you have the option to choose from either NVIDIA's GPUs or AMD's GPUs. Depending on uh, the availability, choose the one that best suits your needs. And you can also choose the data center that's the nearest to you. Followed by that, you need to add your SSH key. There's documentation that I've added in the description below that you can follow to add your own SSH key. And then you just need to give it a name or follow the name that it has input by default and just click on create GPU droplet and in just a few minutes a GPU droplet will be created for you. The GPU droplet is up and running and we are using an NVIDIA GPU droplet for this demo. You can either SSH into the droplet using the public IP that is mentioned here or you can also use the web console and connect to it. For this demo I will be using the web console and once we are here let's further understand what configuration of GPU we have. For that, we will be using the NVIDIA SMI command. And as you can see, it's using an NVIDIA H200. Just as a note, you can also run VLLM on lower end hardware specifications. And to install VLLM, all that we need to do now is just to create a virtual environment and pip install VLLM. So let's quickly write the commands for that. It is sudo apt install hyphen y python3 virtual environment. Now we'll give it a name and let's call it test environment. The next step is to activate the virtual environment. So for that, we'll be using the command source test env bin activate. Okay, that's all done. The next step is to just install VLLM using the command pip install VLLM 
And when you click on enter, this will kickstart the process of installing VLLM on your local machine. As you can see, VLLM has already been installed. The next step is to run a small model on it. For this one, we will be using the Mistral 7B Instruct model. But before we press enter on the command that I have already entered, a little bit of information on why we are using the last command is because VLLM by default, in ru it runs on localhost, which means that it is only accessible through your droplet. But the moment you want to access it, let's say for your from your local computer, you won't be able to do that. But we need to bind it to all the inference servers, which is why we're using the exact command that we have here today. And now that we have it already, so the next step is to just click on enter and wait for it to get installed. The command has successfully run and what's happening here is VLLM has loaded and downloaded the Mistral model on GPU's memory and it has also launched a local API server on port 8000 which we will be testing on our local environment in a few minutes. So we're here on the terminal and I'll add the call command where I am entering the droplet to the IP where I'm calling the model that we just entered and then I'm asking a question about why VLLM is faster than regular inference and after I have clicked enter it gives me the response of why VLLM is faster and that's how you can very easily and simply host your own inference server using VLLM on DigitalOcean's GPU droplets. And there you have it, your own OpenAI compatible inference server running on DigitalOcean's GPU droplets. VLLM handles the hard parts for you like batching, caching, scheduling and memory management so that you can focus on building and with DigitalOcean's ready-made platform, it helps you deploy and scale models. Together, they provide a very solid foundation for building and scaling production-ready AI applications. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more such videos.